Criminal justice and racism are inextricably linked. Racism is in the DNA of the United States like baseball and apple pie. And the only way to extricate it from the criminal justice system is if this generation stands up and does it. We can't afford to waste genius. Some of these young people who are locked up right now, they could be carrying cancer, getting us to Mars with you know clean energy, writing the next great sonnets, and they're in prison just being used as bodies in an incarceration industry. When I was locked up, I had a lot of people come out and support me and stick their neck out and stand up for me. So, you know, that gave me the motivation, inspired me to stand up for the people and be a part of the reform platform that we got going now. One out of every four incarcerated people is here in America. One out of every three incarcerated women are here in America. And so we have got to make this change. Imagine all the people that we don't get to interact with, learn with, love, touch, see, have experiences with because they're locked behind bars and cages. It's imperative for us to stand up and speak out. This is my neighborhood. I grew up around here, so to be able to come back and perform for title for a good, positive reason, it means everything. It's my first time back on the stage in New York, actually, since I've been in prison. So, you know, it's like my second home. I'm like an East Coast baby. You know, it felt good. The energy was great. This is my first time performing as a solo artist, just in general. So for it to be in such a historic venue is just absolutely priceless. I mean something. They won't just put anybody to hurt. They, they only put people that mean something, that got fans. It make me feel like I'm doing something in the rap game. The energy in Brooklyn is lit tonight. I see a lot of familiar faces. Some of my homies are here. Y'all, the city that never sleeps, so y'all wide awake tonight. It feels dope to be, you know, an artist amongst a bunch of other legendary artists that are down and just donate their time to something that's bigger than music and bigger than any of us, you know? It's like a part of like changing the rules. This is really beautiful to, to see other artists who are coming out for a cause like this. I mean, it's always a beautiful thing when we give it back to the community and we're coming together as one hip hop community. Hay muchos jóvenes que, que lo meten preso inocentemente. Pasa aquí en todos los países y por eso estamos aquí presentes. We got 2.2 million people locked up. That's one quarter of all the prisoners on earth. Something is wrong. Because I have the voice and the platform, it's, it's part of my responsibility as an artist. It was an important statement to make. I think about people who are in my community, people who I grew up with, who've been in the system and have been cyclically in the system. They made one bad move and because of that one bad move they haven't been able to shake free from that system. It's time for the criminal justice system to mean rehabilitation and not punishment. Everything that we do is being scrutinized because of who we are. So now we finally come to a stage where we can showcase that to the world. Everybody's not a criminal just because they got dreads. Somebody can get locked up for like the, the little smallest minute thing and be in the system for so many years. This is what we're trying to highlight. This is what we're trying to prevent and this is what we're trying to bring to the forefront. This show gives away 100% of the net proceeds to criminal justice reform. We donating a lot, I got a lot of partners that's donating a lot and everything helps because we're only here for the people. Every dollar will be spent on the people, none towards us. It's dope that people are taking time out of their busy superstar schedules to come and play for free. I ain't getting paid, is, there, is anybody else getting paid? Yeah, nobody getting paid, right? Yeah, so that's what I'm saying. That's real, bro. It's beyond, it's bigger than a check. We're trying to be the voice of the voiceless. Those who have been murdered by police who can no longer speak. We want to give those 
murdered martyrs a voice in 2018 to hopefully light a bonfire under the next generation to create a more just and humane future. I'm so proud of Title X. What they're doing right now is a party with a purpose. They're bringing people together for celebration, fun, for enjoying art and culture, but they're really about investing in critical organizations that are being supported here. You know, I think it's a beautiful blend of community and creativity, but also the activists who are coming out as well. And I'm just proud of everybody's involvement. I'm proud of everybody using their voices this way. I hope we raise a lot of money for the people that are doing the hard work on the ground. There are so many opportunities to make our voices heard on issues surrounding bail, on issues around private private prisons, on ways in which uh, juveniles are tried as adults. We can go on and on. There are so many people in our communities, oftentimes just because they're poor, because they're disenfranchised, because they've been treated like their voices don't matter and that they're invisible. We have to speak up. We have to show up for them. We have to represent for them because their lives depend on it, and so do ours. I wrote these words for Brooklyn, who struggles in a It resonates with me because people in my family and other loved ones, you know, have been directly affected by it. Like, I have a brother who's been incarcerated for more years that he's not been. My dad, he's in jail and he got wrongfully accused. My pops, he spent uh, seven years in the penitentiary for like a house robbery. My mom. Uh, I did seven and a half years. My step pops too at the same time. First time offender, blue collar crime, had a family and everything, and they gave her seven and a half. We all got somebody we could name that's been caught up in a sticky situation with, with the law. We have to fix what's wrong with the system. I'm just glad to be here supporting that. The prison is filled with people who are innocent and scared because they don't have resources, they don't, you know, they're not represented and they don't have enough money for a proper defense. It's so infuriating. It's not getting better, it's getting worse. And people have been screaming bloody murder for years and years and everyone knows that, you know, the prison system is trash, it's just unfair and unbalanced and no one's really doing anything about it. So, I mean, the more vocal we become and the more everyone comes together to make this something that we care about or we actually do something about, you know, the faster it'll get done. 50 years since Jim Crow's been over. Four years since Michael Brown was murdered. Two seasons since Kaepernick's played. Two years of Trump being in office. And it's our time, man. It's our time to step up as people and use our right, go out and vote, and be against mass incarceration. Good news is, more people are waking up to it. I believe that you know we are on the verge of real change. We gotta keep fighting. And it's kind of that much more imperative that artists engage in a way that allows people to know about these issues and, and, and discuss these issues. We all say we're a nation of liberty and justice for all. That can't just be a rote routine. That has to be a commitment that each of us make to making this country more just for more people. To push that message is the biggest thing we can do right now. And to, you know, to let the people know that we're not going to stand for that shit. We're not going to just sit here and let people keep treating us like that. I see trees of green And red roses too I see them bloom For me and you History is not something that happens. History is something that we make. But the good news is, the people who have changed the world for the better in the past had no more power, courage, intelligence, or creativity than anybody watching this and anybody in this room tonight. Change happens when people stand up to demand change. We can change this and get back to a system of restorative justice that makes us safer, saves more money that we can invest in other things like education, and, and actually is consistent with our values. If you got people caught up in the system, I need you to get out there and vote. I need you to support reform. 
Make some noise for yourself in this bitch. Woo!